I'm Bob Hoffman with Epiphany Now. Epiphany Now is on a mission to create a revolution of positive transformational experiences through acts of kindness. Each year, we honor young people who are making a difference in their community and or school with the Youth Passing It Forward Award, YPIF. This year, we have 10 YPIF finalists, including my guest today, who is Chelsea DeVolder, who is a senior at Jackson's Northwest High School. And Chelsea, you are joined by your teacher, Marnie Hayde, and yes. you belong to an organization called Give Hope Disaster Relief. Why do you belong to Give Hope Disaster Relief? Uh, to me, joining Give Hope was like a second family in the community because uh, you create so many different relationships through the different things that you see that, um, and like I still talk to a bunch of the people that like you've gone on the trips with. So it's a very family aspect while still getting to help others that aren't really from your community. I probably should have asked you this first, but what is Give Hope Disaster Relief? Uh, Give Hope is a program that was started in 2005 after Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast. Um, every year as a group, we decide a different place, or sometimes you might go back to the same place you went to the year prior. Uh, but we really base our decision on a place that has been hit by a natural disaster that really needs help with either reconstruction or deconstruction. Very cool. So you could spend your time doing so many other things. Why do you spend your time, your extra time, in service to others? It just, there's a feeling of giving, like, service, like, helping others is just a feeling that you can't get from anything else. Like, seeing the look on people's faces, like, when you're helping build a home, like, that, and, like, meeting a homeowner, like, that's something that you will not experience anywhere but, like, disaster relief trips. So, I like to, like, meet new people, like I said, and create those relationships, and through that, I also learn new skills. Tell me a little bit about some of the skills that you learn, and then also talk about how many other people are in the group with you from, from your school. Um, so some of the skills that I've learned uh, last year on the uh, Panama City, Florida trip that I attended, we got to help reconstruct a house, and, and I learned how to side a house. I learned how to do some of the siding and some of the soffit, and I also laid down sod, which I've never done before, which was... It was fun. It was hot, but it was fun. <laughs> but, um, and in our group, there's been over 800 people from the community that have gone. So it's not, you don't have to just be from Northwest. Like, I remember my first trip, there's people from other, there was a girl from another school and a teacher from another school. And then there's also, like, adults that aren't from our community, and there's a bunch of alumni that go too. So, but throughout the 16th, this is our 16th, like, trip, uh, we've had over 800 people in the group. Wow. Are you working on any projects right now? Um, yes. Uh, for this year's project, in the beginning of November, we had actually decided to stay in Jackson and help build a youth, uh, like a youth chapter of Habitat for Humanity in Jackson. And then early December hit, and two of our uh, long-term chaperones that they've been on pretty much all of the trips, uh, they were in a car accident. And so... After that happened, it kind of shook up our entire community, and so we decided that the best way to go about this trip, like this year, staying in Jackson, staying local, would be to build a house in honor of all that they've done for our com community and for these trips, because like I said, uh, the one chaperone, she's been on all the trips, and then her husband only missed the first one, and they've been on all of them together, so everybody that's been on a Give Hope trip knows who they are, so we all thought together that it'd be a good idea to build a house in honor of them. That's wonderful, Chelsea. Uh, tell me, in your opinion, how Give Hope Disaster Relief spreads, spreads kindness. Like I said, uh, just being able to go help other people, that's not something that you see a lot. Like people's taking a whole week out of their summer to travel to go help people. Uh, I know like we've, we've been to uh, like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. My shirt has all the states we've been to, but in each place, we do something different that helps what they need in that phase of their, like, relief portion. So, yeah, it's like reconstructing, like, building a home. Like, we, that's something that someone is going to get to live in, and that's helping them, like, move on and 
progress in their life. Marnie, I bet you're very proud of these kids. Incredibly proud. Uh, Chelsea's right. Not many kids would spend a school year fundraising to go give up part of their summer vacation to build a house or, or, or reconstruct or deconstruct in an area. And, and she's right, more than 800 kids and chaperones have been on these trips in the last 15 years. It's an amazing family that we have and has gotten together to honor um, the Adkins family. Well, thank you for what you do. Congratulations on being a YPIF nominee. And uh, you're up on the website, so hopefully people will uh, start voting for you. So congratulations so much, Chelsea. Thank you. And if you'd like to learn more about the YPIF Award or Epiphany Now, visit our Epiphany Now website, E-P-I-F-A-N-Y-N-O-W.org. You can have an epiphany right now to spread kindness. Uh, be sure to continue to watch all these interviews. We're going to be interviewing all the YPIF finalists in the coming weeks. Thanks for joining us.